All right, I put the Xerox copy back on here. I'm going to lighten the background. I have just pure white in the gun. And I'm going to hit some areas here just to, uh, just too strong for me, the color. I don't like it. It's in the real picture, you know, the, the reference picture to some degree, but a little bit uh, too saturated. So, just kind of taking it down. Got to add some more white I'm using the Createx paint. Put it right out of the bottle. And turn this back because I'm spraying downward. Tip dry. I still want to see the color, but I surely don't want to see the strength of it. Might not be too exciting to watch, but it does help people to understand and learn how to use the, um, the cutout shields from the exact size to help you get things done using the stencil from the original. The tape on these is a little bit worn out. That's the original. I cut out the openings and put tape on there to pin them down. But using it a number of times, it's uh, wearing out. So I just move it as I go. Also, I'm going to put um, some reducer do this over here a little bit of reducer in the paint maybe three drops or so and then I'll just mix it in there a little bit wasn't squeezing it down hard enough okay turn up the air pressure Put the Mac valve which is really great. And take out some of this. Now you'll see more drastic. I should have done that in the beginning, but I didn't. So blows through a lot of paint too and very quickly. All right, let's do some more going through it. I've already shook the bottle a little more in there nice thing about the micron is that you can um, turn the color cup to the way you need it so it won't spill down on the painting Keep bubbling up okay so you can see this piece of tape here I'll remove it and carefully use my fingers spray out the lighter background. Turning this cup this way allows me to not pour it onto the picture. Right. I can add color to it again. I just wasn't wasn't happy with the background. And so I'm taking some of it out. And I do want one side to be lighter than the other side. Let's peek at it, see how she's looking. I can do this again and again, so for now, I'm going to just leave it. You know, I'm gonna work on this side more, maybe shift more white light over here. Actually, I might do this side lighter, yeah, because there's more light hitting this side of the cat, and I'll just wash this out more and uh, maybe do that right now. Okay, just line it up. And again, I'm gonna be going back and forth on the edges using 
using the uh, freehand techniques of putting the fur out into into the background a little bit, out of focus fur, things like that. Okay, back down here, the lighter side as far as I'm concerned. Got to make sure it's registered right on, and that's not. So I will move it a little bit. Just focusing on this side for now. Again, with the with the heavier amount of air, the higher air pressure really gets the job done quick. But it empties the gun out quick. I just want this side to be lighter, and I'll work it from there. That looks pretty good. Still got some color in it, and I can tint, I can do anything I want as far as later on when I want to bring it to um, a finished stage. So, let's see, as you can see, I did some work. I'm um, sorry for the shaky camera. I did some work on the nose, did some work on the inner ears. Some of the reflection colors, I guess, in the photograph are in the ear, as you can see here. Still have a ways to go, but one step at a time and I'll be getting it where I want it. Anyway, when I get to the fur and start working it really more detail, I'll try to do a longer video so that you guys can see how I'm going to tie it all together. Alrighty. Thanks for checking this out. Um, hopefully get some more subscribers and don't forget to like the video if you like it and comment down below too. Uh, feedback is nice to hear. Um, okay guys, I hope all's well and thanks for checking these videos out. Take care.